they said it couldn't stand. In a city still smelling of ash and rain, something impossible began to rise, quietly daring gravity to notice. Chicago in the 1880s was a place rebuilding its soul. The Great Fire had stripped the city to its bones, leaving behind scorched earth, ambition, and a dangerous question. How do you grow when land runs out? Streets clanged with horse hooves and iron tools. Steam hissed. Sawdust floated in the air. And above it all loomed a radical idea. What if buildings didn't spread outward anymore, but climbed? At the corner of LaSalle and Adams, workers laid the foundation for what would become the Home Insurance Building. At first glance, it looked unremarkable, stone, brick, familiar shapes, but hidden inside was something no one had trusted before, a steel skeleton. Not thick stone walls holding the weight, but a metal frame carrying the building itself. People watched from the street, uneasy. Each new floor felt like a gamble. Would the iron bend? Would the walls crack? Would the whole thing collapse into legend and rubble? Midway through construction, whispers spread. Some said it was arrogance. Others called it madness. A few sensed history shifting beneath their feet. Because if this worked, if steel could carry a building upward, then there was no clear limit anymore. The structure reached ten stories. Ten. Today, that sounds small. In 1885, it was audacious. Elevators groaned upward, lifting people into a perspective they had never known. The city shrank below. Noise softened. Wind grew stronger. For the first time, Chicago was something you could look down upon. And the building stood. No collapse. No catastrophe. Just quiet defiance against centuries of architectural rules. That moment changed everything. Cities around the world took note. Steel frames multiplied. Buildings climbed higher. Skylines were born. What began as a cautious experiment became a global race toward the sky. But the true legacy of the home insurance building isn't its height. It's its courage. It proved that progress doesn't always announce itself with thunder. Sometimes it rises floor by floor, surrounded by doubt, until the world realizes it's already standing in a new era. Today, that original building is gone. But every skyscraper, every glass tower, every needle of steel piercing the clouds still carries its echo. If this story changed the way you see the world above you, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. And tell me in the comments, what human idea do you think quietly reshaped our future the most?